Okay, this is going to be showing you uh, chemical fire with calcium carbide. Uh, out of sight of fire in the snow in a winter survival situation. So, obviously, I'm not going to show you kindling again. We've got all our kindling set up here. So, the basis of it is you need water to get the calcium carbide to emit acetylene gas. So, what you want to essentially do is create a hole and get a fire going on top of it, but you're going to need a base, so you're going to have to dig yourself up. You know what, Daddy? You're my best friend, Daddy. You're my best friend too, Tatum. What are you doing, Daddy? Making a fire today. Like that one? Yep. Oh, we mad A white one? Okay. So the best thing for you to keep doing is do this, but try not to get wet. Because you get wet, nighttime, you're screwed. <coughs> That's a big hole, Daddy. That's a big hole, Daddy. Don't smash that stuff at me. What are you doing, Daddy? All right, now you got your base set up for the decent hole. You might want to go a little deeper depending on what you're trying to start here. So now you're digging snow away, now you're putting snow back in. So you want to get a base of snow at the bottom of the hole so it's flush with the ground. So you're not going to put out your fire as soon as you start it. And you want to start by throwing sticks across it just like you would in summertime. Well, at least keep a little opening so you can throw your calcium carbide down the hole. And you want to start off by taking your kindling and getting a spot ready so that you can start your fire. Really so once you've got everything prepared, obviously, everything cut, everything ready, you don't want to waste this stuff because you don't know how long you're going to be out there. So you take your calcium carbide. And your knife. You're going to need a flint steel. I light my fire more a knife here, but you're going to need a flint steel, manganese steel, some kind of sparking tool, rock, flint, whatever you got. Anything to make a spark, smoke, whatever. So you start off by pouring some in there, and as you can see, it's going to start to start emitting acetylene as soon as you start pouring it in there. So to admit it more, you can pour more snow on top of it. The more water, obviously, the bigger the spark's going to be. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make a more snow of mortar and really quite easy to make a fire. A fire near the fire because we're making a fire by throwing the water in there. And one. If there will be so like a diamond in the truck. And essentially, 
Once you get a fire going, obviously you're going to build it bigger and bigger. Snow is going to melt around your surface. You can start building shelter or whatever you need to do to continue your survival. Can I throw the snow at your mommy's